I am excited about your burgeoning friendship. I am not. She's vicious, and I am a darling. Lies. <laughs> You're not innocent, honey. Do you feel like you should owe me an apology? Apologize for what? That was some shade to your face. <laughs> it certainly was. That's why I said I was going to drag you. Do it now, then. Please, just stop. If you Google you, I'm sure it says Michael Darby squeezed an ass. If you were my real friend, you would not talk so much trash about my husband. He grabbed a couple of our producers' butts as well. <gasps> You've all heard that? Yes. I guess. Monique? Yeah. Is it possible there's something you don't know about Michael and his marriage? Usually when you bump into somebody, you say, excuse me or sorry. You don't know what you're talking about. I did believe you did it. I saw you. But let, let, let's us not ignore the fact that, and Ashley knows how I feel about this, it takes a certain courage to stand up and say, this happened to me. And I met this young man. Who are we talking about? Wait, I, the, cameraman. Talking about the cameraman. And I want to hear what Michael has to say because, you know, I've seen the footage now. And his history is not good. That guy, to me, seemed like he would not lie about something like that. That, yes. About a cast member's husband. Like, I just felt, because we've all met the guy, stand-up guy, very nice, nice guy. Very sweet. So because of it, it just was like, yo, he wouldn't, he wouldn't do this. And ruin his life, because his name was everywhere. Why would he do that? Like, what is he trying to get? Okay. Fair. Um, the, Michael is a 60-year-old man who has been a prominent businessman in Washington. So when that TMZ article came out, why wouldn't there have been all these people like, oh, Michael did that to me, too? Like, well, because men, I don't understand. Well, they did. That same evening when he grabbed Andrew's butt. We also were made aware that he grabbed a couple of our producers' butts as well. I've yes. heard this yeah. from I've heard it more also. than one. You've all heard that? Yes. Yes. I, yes. yes. I have. And then the guy Monique, in question. You? Oh. Yeah. Oh. News to me, I've never heard this. Is it quite possible that you don't know about Michael? All right, I'm gonna put a pin in it. Let's take a breather. All right, here we go. So real quick, we're gonna put the husband dead. They bringing us in. Ready to go. The men are coming out. If you were I, my I real friend, you. you would not talk so much trash about my husband like you did. You were like, oh, I know it happened. You had all of this confidence that it happened in your interview chair, but yet to my face, you were so supportive, like, oh, Ashley. Ashley, you well, asked me straight up, do you think it stuff. happened? And I that's said, uh, yeah. I came to you as a friend to, to be like, look, girl, give me my talking points in the street. Forget the cameras. Like, I want to support you publicly to people. Because this is the only question I'm being asked. What's wrong with Michael? Why is he doing that to Ashley? And you know what you said? You were like, girl, it's fine. It didn't happen. When, when that happens, Giselle, I would think you would say, that's Ashley's business, or you, you'll see. I have said that. Because of there, course, are a lot of of things, there are a lot of things that are said of, about all of us. The, absolutely. I've had your back so much, and, and yet you yes. don't have mine. You that's can't be right. mad with Giselle, because Giselle oh, does yeah. that but, to everybody. She says, oh, I support you out the left side. On the right side, she's throwing you under the bus. It's bullshit, but we know that's you. OK. Um, <laughs> thanks, Karen. But Ashley. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't love to fight. I just don't take Giselle's bullshit. You don't. And I don't take hers. No, I'll right. call her every time. You're kind of a good match in a way. We way. are very good. We spar very well. Um, but I would like in the future, Andy, for us to get back to a better place. Better like hangout place, girlfriend place. Like when we were in the Caymans. That was fun. It was amazing. That was fun. So that I, was old, I would like to that was, do more of that. I would like to do that too. And I only have one requirement is oh, that on the left side, I said it before, of your mouth, you're supporting me. On the right side, you're throwing me under the bus, and I call bullshit on that. Make up your mind. Karen, you, you throw know, me under Giselle, the bus, too. You sit in the chair, okay? Right now, you are loving Karen, me, and I, I receive all of the mushy gushy you're, you're doing your right now. Just give it to me. But when, when you sit in that chair. You sit you, in the chair, too. I do, but she's vicious, and I am not. I am a darling. 
Lies. <laughs> you tell. I am innocent. Lies. I am no. There is Karen, no lie. You dish no. it. You dish it, and I you're not trying it. to own it. I can it. give it, but Just you're vicious. It. You're malicious. I'm not vicious or malicious. Yeah. I read you correctly, though, but I'm not malicious. Karen, you act like this is one-sided. It is not. Oh no, no, no. I, I return serve quite well. Oh, you're I not own returning. That. You, you are doing the two. Boom. No, no. You're you, the there's ball first. not a woman sitting on this couch that you didn't go after from the chair this season. But let me ask you this: How long have you been friends? Oh my God, I, I don't want to date that. A long time. A long yeah. time. Were you better friends before the show started? I yeah, think we, we were, were cool. We yeah. were more into mothering at that yes. time, too. When we first started off yeah. at Jack and Jill, we were about cookie bakes. She didn't like to lose then, she doesn't like so to lose you, now, but I got a number. Go ahead. Um, you <laughs> cheated for cookie bake. I did. Period. End of story. She oh didn't follow God. directions. You cheated. <laughs> she did not cookie follow bake. directions, you cheated. Andy. How did and she, she cheat? lost. And she you never got over cheated, that. cheated, and you know you cheated, and I you don't have admitted cheat. to cheating. I did cheating. not cheat. Your ass got whooped in the contest, you gave and you it never to got your over cousin. it. Okay, go ahead. Candace, what did you mean when you said you thought Monique used you as a ladder to get to Ashley? I as felt, I, would need a ladder. I felt, and I still feel like, the coming together of Ashley and Monique is odd, it's strange, we've all said that. Me forging a friendship with I her had nothing like to do with you. That's not, no. I feel like It was you, based off you, of an you, apology in a conversation. You had to me to make me look Nobody bad. Nobody used you. So that you used you could yourself get in her by good inserting graces. yourself into her business. That is the way that, that I felt. That was all you. That's the way that, that I felt. That was all you. Why and did you need you to talk decided, about what I'm doing with her? We, and then what we have going on is not about that, you. No, Why are you decided that you wanted to say I was on her side. So that you can look good in her it braces. It had nothing to do with looking good. That's why. You're trying to take me down and Nobody chastise was, you me. You took in front, yourself down, in front Candace. Of you did that by yourself. That don't have my best you did that by yourself. If you wanted you to get a point across to me, you tried to play me out in front of the whole then group. Then you could have said that in front of me. Then we group. got on a farm. That's and tried why to I said I was going to drag you. Where's the baby now? Let's do it now. Let's stop there. Let's stop. Let's stop. Please, let's stop. Please, you because it's going nowhere. Nobody's listening. Let it go. This is going to be the reason why I know the intention